Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Lesson 8 and today we're going to look at 3D Shapes as 2D but first if you are new to my channel and if you're watching this video on YouTube please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification so you don't miss any new uploads and also if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below and without further ado Let's get started. Alright guys, so I've got about five questions here. So I'm going to answer these questions and give you a valid explanation to why I have chosen those answers. But before we start answering any questions, um, we've got, I've got, I have to give you guys a quick intro on what this topic is and what you have to do in this topic. Um, so basically, what you have to do in this topic is basically in the name of this topic, and the name of this topic is 3D Shapes as 2D. So so um, basically, what you have to do is you will get a um, 3D shape on the left-hand side, and you will view at it, and you look at it in a specific direction. So in this question, we're looking at it from the right-hand side. Okay, so when looking at it from this direction, um, we're going to uh, basically choose from these options, which which um, shape will we see if we're looking at it in a 2D perspective? So, okay, with number one, um, we can say that this um, shape, okay, is going to have two layers because if you see here, that's one layer here and it's one, the second layer there. So when looking at it um, in a 2D perspective, you're going to get those two layers. All right, so we're going to eliminate any of the choices with just now two layers. So we're going to eliminate uh b because b has um three layers if you see here that's layer three that's layer two and that's layer one so yeah so we're going to eliminate b we're left with a and a c and d with a c and d we can see that this uh shape you know the 3d shape on the left hand side is three sh um three squares wide you know so three squares wide so So that's um, one square, that's two square, and then right over there is three squares. So, you know, that's three squares wide, so we're also going to eliminate any of the choices that doesn't have, that's not three squares wide, basically. So we're, as a result, we're going to eliminate C, because if you see here, C is only two squares wide. We want three. Okay, so we're left with D and A. But if you pay close attention to this um, shape, we can see that, um, that that's like on the second layer, that's um, this red block. Um, so when looking at it in 2D, obviously you're going to see a red square instead of a cube. So, But if you see where this red cube is positioned, it's positioned in the middle of the shape. So, um, so if we see an A and D, because they're the only two options we have left, we can see that this red cube or red square um, is positioned to the right hand side of the shape, whereas on D, this is actually positioned on the center, so it's D must be the answer because, as I said here, it's positioned in the middle and it's also positioned in the middle of this shape, so yeah. So D must be the answer, and we're also going to eliminate A. Okay, that was like a practice question, and that's like pretty much like a warm up. Now we've got four questions left. And if you, if you guys are feeling confident enough, you guys can pause the video and try the questions and like play the video again once you guys are ready um, and to know the answers. And, and once you guys are confident, don't worry if you're not confident yet. we still got uh, four more questions to go. So you probably will be confident by we get to the end of this video. Okay, question two. Like I said, guys, if you guys are ready and if you guys are feeling confident, Pause the video now and just try it yourself and play the video again um, when you're feeling confident enough. All right, I'll give you guys two seconds. Okay, guys, so with this question, again, we're going to look at it from the right-hand side direction, so from this direction. So when looking at it from this direction, you can again see that uh, more clearly this time, actually, that this uh, shape has three squares wide. You know, 
and it also has two layers. So that's like layer two and that's layer one. So it also has two layers. We also know that. So we're going to eliminate any of the choices that's more than two layers. We're, straight away, we can see that A and C have more than two layers. In A, we've got layer one, layer two, and layer three. And in C, you've got layer one, layer two, and layer two. So A and C are more than two layers, so we're going to eliminate them. And also, if we look at this um, shape more closely, you can see that there's only one cube on the second layer. So there's obviously two layers, you know, and there's only one cube on the second layer. If you see on D, that's more than one, that's actually two squares. So we're going to eliminate D as well, and we're left with B. I hope you guys got that question right. And don't worry if you didn't get it right. You guys, um, we still got three more questions left, you know. So don't worry, you guys will get it by the end. And let's get to number three. Okay, with number three, this time we're going to do a little bit different. This time we're looking at it from the top. Okay, when looking from the top, we can see that there's two layers. So two across. Yeah, so two across and then you go three down okay and then you go two across again so we're going to eliminate any of these choices that's not two across three down and two across again you can already see in a it's three across which is not right so we're going to eliminate a and with c you can see that it's one across. So we're going to eliminate C as well. Oops. Okay, we're left with B and D. But you guys could probably guess by now that D is wrong because, um, as we said, it's two across, three down, and two across again. Nothing else, no more. Okay? But in D, you can see that it does go two across, um, but then it comes three down and goes two across again. But that's just like this remaining of the square right here. That So like we have an extra square. So obviously it can't be right because in this shape, we have like those specific squares only and nothing more. So we are going to eliminate D. So we're left with B. And B is right because... Two across, three down, two across. So B is right. Okay, so I hope you guys found that one pretty easy to do. And, you know, we're just now looking at the question in a different angle and a different perspective. But I, I hope you guys found, found that pretty easy and got it right. Um, now let's go to number four. Okay, with number four, we're going back to the old style. We're going, uh, we're going to look at it. From the side once again, you know, from the right hand side. When looking at the right hand side, we can see that there's two layers. So layer one, layer two. Okay, we're gonna eliminate any of these choices. There's more than two layers. As a result, we're gonna eliminate A because there's layer one, layer two, and layer three. We only need two layers, so we are gonna eliminate A. Okay, now we're left with A. Sorry, now we're left with B, C. And D. Okay, with this um, shape right here, you can already see that as on the second layer, yeah. So this layer, we can see that there's only one cube. You know, that's only one of those cubes. Uh, so, so like, yeah, that's only one of them. So we're gonna eliminate C and D because in D is two, um, two of them, two of the squares are in the second, um. On the second layer, and with C, you can see that three squares are on the second layer. So yeah, we're going to eliminate C and D. So as a result, we are left with B, and B is right. Just to make sure you guys have got it, um, right here, we can see that there's two squares, you know, two squares, and then here there's three squares. Okay, even though that's only meant to be one square. At the top um, on the second layer, so that's why we eliminate C and D. With A, we can see that that's layer one, 
there's two layers. There's layer two and layer one. Um, but with A, there's w one layer, there's two layers, and then there's a third layer. So we're obviously going to eliminate A as well. So we're left with B, and B is the right answer. Because you only have one square on the second layer, and also you have two layers, you know. That's the one layer, that's the first layer, that's the second layer, so you know we're left with two layers. Okay. Alright, I hope you guys found that one pretty easy as well. You know, it's not too difficult this one. Hopefully, um you guys will be able to all of you will be able to um do question five. Question five is really easy if you get the right elimination, um, which will leave you with only one answer. So yeah. So I hope you guys all of you try it question five now. Um, don't worry if you can't try it, just give it a go. Um, nothing wrong in it. It doesn't matter if, if you guys get it wrong, it's fine. Okay, with question five, again, we're going to look at it from the um, top, just like we did in question three. Okay, with this, we can see that there's one layer. When looking at it from the top, that's going to be this is going to be a um, one layer, and this is going to be another layer. So that's layer one, and that's layer two, right? So we're going to get two layers. So we're going to eliminate any of the choices that are more than two layers. So as a result, we are going to eliminate B, C, and D because they all have three layers. All of them. All of them have three layers, so we are, we're going to eliminate all of them. So eliminate B, C, and D. So we're left with A, and A is right because there's only two layers. All right, guys, so, you know, that was a quick video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I hope you guys found it pretty useful. And by the way, your engagement is really helpful and uh, motivates me, guys. So um, get um, involved in the comment section below. Um, give me tips and like. Give me on what other topics I should do next, since we have come to the end of this spatial series. So you know. Um, so give me some ideas in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in my next video.